The back half actually about a block away from us, closer to the park. Fire officials tell us here at the scene that the horse, for some reason they believe, got spooked and took off running and that two Australian tourists had just mounted the carriage and were about to go for a ride. The owner and operator was stepping up, trying to get up on that carriage to take them for that ride, when all of a sudden they were tossed and hurt during the commotion. The tourists were taken to St. Luke's Hospital with bumps, bruises, and scrapes, we're told, minor injuries, but still we are waiting on official confirmation from the hospital. The horse bolted west on 60th, then south onto 9th, People who were just standing here were nice enough to stop and help and hold that horse until police arrived. Police came and tied him up to the pole over there, and that's when he kind of, like a dog, pushed back and just was distressed and wouldn't move. I know I've worked with horses before. Um, their natural defense is if they are frightened or they feel threatened, they will run. That's their defense. Um, so he's threatened. Um, the horse is going to bolt. That's, that's a natural defense for a horse. And we need to give credit to a mounted unit police officer who came here on the scene as people were trying to help that horse. He was smart enough to know to take off the harness, take off all the equipment for the horse. The horse stood up and was able to walk away. There is a community activist group here who is against having horse and carriages. They say that this is exactly why they want them banned in the city. Reporting live at Columbus Circle, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Dramatic. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. A runaway horse stampeding through the streets of Midtown. Good evening. I'm David Navarro. Bill is off. And I'm Shade Better and Moi. Witnesses say the horse got spooked and went wild, tossing the coachman and two tourists. Uh, tonight, this incident is sparking new debate about the carriages and their place in New York City. Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Lead has new information on the carriage passengers and the horse. She's in Midtown. Carolina? Oh, uh, Sade and David, uh, fire and police officials initially told us that those passengers, the tourists, were brought here to St. Luke's Hospital, that they were treated for bumps and bruises, but nothing serious, and that the operator was taken to Bellevue Hospital. The worker at the stables that are not too far from here, where he was based out of with that horse, says that the operator suffered a broken leg. Of course, this wild ride that we saw in Columbus Circle this afternoon has some people asking tough questions about the horse and carriage industry. It was supposed to be a leisurely horse and carriage ride for two Australian tourists, but something freaked out this horse just as the operator climbed in the carriage Thursday afternoon, causing the animal to take off running and putting the passengers and the operator in the hospital. Horse took off. Never seen anything like it. The horse was really scared, spooked by something. The horse bolted from Columbus Circle on 60th, then down 9th, hitting a double parked livery car. Police and passers by stopped him at 57, the exact route the horse takes to get back to the Clinton Park stables after a day's work. They check already, the HPCA. Yeah, they check constantly every day, you know, the horses, how they're doing. I saw the horse, there's nothing wrong with the horse. This accident has sparked a 30-year-old debate between groups like the Horse and Carriage Association of New York City and Nyclops, New Yorkers for clean and safe, livable streets. It's really only a matter of time before someone gets seriously injured. The time of the horse and buggy has come and gone. It's something of the last century. To ban the carriages just because of an, an accident uh, is really very short-sighted. Um, the horses are very uh, well adapted to the environment here in New York City. We are very proactive in taking precautions to make sure that it is very safe. And that spokesperson from the Horse and Carriage Association says that the horse is fine, that he has some uh, bruising, kind of some scraping on his side after he fell on the street. The ASPCA, of course, is still investigating. Reporting live outside St. Luke's Hospital, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness. Tonight, a carriage horse named Oreo is back in its stable after a wild dash in Manhattan that started just before 430 on Park Avenue South when the horse was spooked by something falling off a truck. Now, the driver and a couple who were inside the carriage were thrown to the ground after it toppled, toppled over at Columbus Circle. The horse continued for several blocks. The driver had to be hospitalized. He's now, though, in stable condition. Chaos in Manhattan today was caused by a runaway carriage horse. Heather Brown has details. 
This is the carriage driver on his way to the hospital after he tried to control his horse. You can see bandages on his arm and legs. The horse was dragging the driver. The horse was dragging the driver. And the horse got away with the carriage and the two passengers still inside. It took off down 59th Street into a very crowded Columbus Circle where the horse toppled over the carriage and the passengers inside. He left the wheels behind as he took off again. The customer fall down the, the ground and the car over the car over them. That's it. So I run uh, me and some people to uh, to help them uh, to remove the car from uh, from over them. Now to 60th Street, where the horse hit a car and was finally able to break loose from what was left of his carriage. He got another two blocks before police were able to stop him. This is video this afternoon from New Yorkers for clean, livable, safe streets. You can see the horse was tranquilized for a short time. Oh. Today's accident brought out both sides of the carriage horse ban debate. Carriage horses do not belong in midtown traffic anymore. There's a reason they don't exist basically in, in modern day society. Well, these are big horses, they're acclimated to the city, and you know, just because a horse once in a blue moon spooks doesn't mean that something terrible is going to happen. By 7 this evening, the horse, whose name is Oreo, was back in his stable on 52nd Street, waiting for a vet, apparently in good condition. Not even one single scratch on it. The horse is fine. Well, no one I talked with today wanted to speculate on the record what might happen to this horse, but some of the drivers told me privately that in some cases, when a horse gets spooked like this, sometimes they're sent back to where they came from in Pennsylvania. Near Central Park, Heather Brown, the 10 o'clock news. Now at 11, a wild ride. Passengers are tossed when a carriage horse gets spooked and takes off running. Live from Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sheba Russell. And I'm Chuck Scarborough. Witnesses describe the scene as chaos after a carriage horse bolts charging through traffic. Left behind, the carriage driver and his passengers unexpectedly taken on a terrifying ride. The mishap is now fueling a renewed push to ban horse-drawn carriages. News 4's Gus Rosendale is live in Columbus Circle with the details tonight. Gus? Chuck and Sheba were told three people were hurt when all of this happened. Two people were riding in the carriage and the driver. We saw at least one person leave the scene on a stretcher. As for the horse, we're told he's doing okay. Only a minor scratch after that unexpected gallop through Midtown. Remains of the broken carriage could be seen smack in the middle of Columbus Circle. Witnesses say the carriage got into an accident with a chauffeured black car a few blocks north, where other parts of the carriage could be seen laying on their side. The horse ran loose for several blocks until members of the NYPD Mounted Division stopped the animal near 58th Street and 7th Avenue. This video sent to us by New Yorkers for Clean, Livable, Safe Streets, a group opposed to horse-drawn carriages. It was very scary. I felt really frightened for the people. I think the guy is going to be okay, but it was really frightening. and It was just like, boom, out of the blue. And never seen anything like it. We saw at least one person treated at the scene and taken away by ambulance. State Senator Tony Avella from Bayside, Queens, is a longtime critic of the carriages and has sponsored legislation to outlaw them. It's just one accident after another. There's a reason horse-driven carriages don't exist in modern-day society, and much less in midtown traffic. But horse carriage drivers we talk to defend their safety record and the treatment of their horses. And, you know, the carriage horses have made over two million round trips to and from their stable to Central Park in the past 30 years, and we've really only had a handful of accidents. Again, three people treated for injuries here, but the horse is back home safe and sound in the stable at this hour. Live in Columbus Circle, I'm Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York. Coming up out of control, a carriage horse gets loose, injuring people and causing mayhem in Midtown. Stunned witnesses describe what happened next. Hit by a carriage horse, a frightening crash renews debate about the safety of carriage rides in the city. You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition. A car and a carriage horse collide. I'm good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. The scene was chaotic. That carriage horse slammed into a car in Columbus Circle. The carriage shattered and the horse took off. Tonight, the horse and humans are all okay, but animal lovers are calling this the last straw. CBS 2's Derek Dennis live in Columbus Circle with the story. Derek. 
Well, that's right, Maurice. More hay in the Central Park horse carriage debate. The spook horse took off that direction westbound on 60th from Columbus Circle, and the chaos, the damage, and the injuries followed. A horse on its side, tranquilized and scared. The end of a wild ride that left a carriage overturned and shattered after its horse got spooked around Columbus Circle and Central Park South. And all of a sudden it sounded like a car crash. And I turned around and all I saw was a horse going wild with a, the carriage attached to it. Police say the horse, a six-year-old black and white gelding named Oreo, was frightened by a car horn and took off with two tourists still in the carriage, its driver hanging on to the reins. The horse hit two cars, splintered its wayward carriage into pieces before galloping westbound past Columbus Circle and then turning south. A horse just came running down 9th Avenue, like galloping down 9th Avenue. Joseph Gorino is a host at the Wim restaurant on 9th and 57th and took pictures of the horse after it was corralled by a passerby and police. They finally tranquilized the horse, but I think they gave it a very light tranquilizer because um, he kept trying to get back up and then finally he just laid down on the ground. The carriage driver and the two unidentified tourists inside, a man and woman, were taken to area hospitals with injuries ranging from minor to serious. Oreo not seriously hurt, but now reopening a long-standing debate on banning the attraction of carriage horses altogether. There's absolutely no reason to ban the carriages because of what happened today any more than there's any reason to ban bicycles from Central Park because somebody got hit. It's inhumane treatment to the animal, but it's also a huge danger to everybody else in the area. An update now on the injuries tonight. Oreo the horse suffered only a minor scratch on his muzzle. He's under a vet's care tonight, but is expected to be fine. The two tourists and the carriage driver were both immediately taken to the hospital. None of their injuries life-threatening. As for the horse carriage debate, well, there's new fuel, but no immediate solution. We're live tonight in Columbus Circle. I'm Derek Dennis, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Derek. Today's scare in Columbus Circle was the latest in a series of accidents. Here's some plus two information for you. The ASP PCA says it responded to seven incidents involving horse carriages last year alone. A wild scene around Columbus Circle yesterday when a horse broke free from its carriage and stormed downtown. A pair of Australian tourists were uh, tossed to the ground and so was the driver there who was taken to the hospital. The horse ran into a parked car before it was corralled near 57th Street and 9th Avenue. It happened right around the evening rush hour. It sounded like a car crash, and I turn around and I just saw a horse going wild, and the um, driver wasn't on, the, like wasn't holding on. Uh, the horse, whose name is Oreo, suffered a few cuts to the mouth and was taken back to his stable. The SPCA will examine Oreo again before he is allowed to get back to work.